Oh. Yes. Girl, you ready to get this train back on the get it back on the track? <laughs> From last week, you ready? You ready? Because honestly, girl, right. this train never left the track. It so never left. It never left the oh, track. It sure. never left the track. Okay, so let's pick it back up. Let's we're gonna we're up. gonna start from the caboose. We're gonna start from the caboose. Ooh, we're gonna cool. start from the caboose. See, see, you, you here picking up the, the lingo? I'm picking like, up the lingo, the I train you, lingo. You. Definitely. You. Okay, so we gonna wait, jump wait, into wait. It. wait, are we gonna? Are we gonna just jump into it and be like, "Hey, y'all"? Oh, you want to do all that too? I want. I want to. Oh, fine. Let's just jump into it. No, we'll no, do that. No, okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. I got that dish. I got that dish. 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 Hey y'all, it's Anika. And it's your girl B. And you are dishing with Dainty Dish. How are you doing today? Well, okay, let's just get into it. Don't <laughs> worry about it. Honestly, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. All right, see, it's, it's I'm so excited juicy. to tell the story. It's a juicy story, and the people <laughs> want to know. You think they've already waited seven days to hear what's going on. Girl. We need to jump into it. Let's spill some tea, girl. So, it's all time right. to spill that tea. So we're gonna start with breaking up isn't hard to do, or is it? Oh, this is <laughs> I, I really, I really resonate with this statement because after the whole situation with the nerve condition, trigeminal neuralgia that I had, um, I depended on rule of law, uh, for those two weeks. Realistically, the end of our relationship, the beginning of the end was when he disrespected my family in Walmart. Um, yeah, cousin Don, cousin Nene, cousin Alexis, cousin victoria and jazzy cousin jazzy were all at walmart and he wanted to pick up some expensive like his car broke down because that's what happens with used cars they break down like it's it's a thing so you know i wanted to get him some jumper cables what like 12 13 dollars for jumper cables tops like you know they can't be that much Mm -hmm. so we go to walmart i'm planning on spending like 30 bucks mm -hmm. i'm planning on spending like 30 bucks max on some coconut water which everyone knows that i love it should be on what's that card called again elliot's back on the mic too don't don't forget about elliot what's What's that thing (laughs) called that thing that run card when i when i get super famous and i got and i gotta have like smarties but only the red ones oh the rider the rider yeah so coconut water will be on my rider okay just so you you all know so I, we were hitting up the Walmart to get the coconut water, some toilet paper. That's it. Like max things. So I said, let me be generous. And cause I've already, I, not that I haven't done enough basketball net pool, et cetera, et cetera, like gas money, et cetera, et cetera, groceries, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <laughs> well, this is not really et cetera, et cetera. Now yeah. I'm just telling you the whole long list of things. Mm-hmm. So cooking, like, oh. yeah. So, <laughs> whew. Sour, so sour. a little sour, sour. So yeah, so we're in the Walmart and he sees this thing from Goodyear and it's like got flares and like drills and like, you know, rope and all these, all these, all these the cutrements, these cutrements, these, as my father and mother would call them, these cutrements, you know, these extra cutrements. So I'm looking at him like, we don't need this stuff though. We just need jumper cables. Let's drive over to the Canadian side and get some jumper. But he's there like a little boy has to pee. But once, you know, mommy, mommy, like, oh, but I just need to have this though. I need to have it. And it was getting oh embarrassing. Gosh. So I just boss bitched it out and said, fine, put it in the car, whatever. So. Which wasn't really a boss issue. It was really just a bitch move, in my opinion. Now I look at it. Like, just like, I shouldn't have let him win, but I just was tired of talking to him. So I said, done it. Like, just put it in the cart. So we slide by, we slide by the, um, what's it called? The like clothing section in Walmart. And I see my family and I'm like, family. I specifically say family. I didn't say friends, acquaintances, you know, work colleagues grandma grandpa i said family you know i was very specific in what i said so this um person that i was dating um decided to roll past my family as if they had covid (laughs) um and the disrespect as beaumont would say grabbed me by the throat (laughs) threw me into the aisles of the pajamas (laughs) i fell i woke up after resting being in some George pajamas, went to the lineup so and addressed the disrespect that just happened in front of my family. 
Like, thank you, Bowman Isaiah, for that <laughs> disrespect. <laughs> we love you, Bowman. We love you, Bowman. So, like, l- legitimately, I went into the car and I shit on his face. Like, when I say shat, I should say shat because it's past tense. <laughs> but I shat on his face. <laughs> I was like, yo, bro, did you just, this just, I got real Toronto road salty real quick. Like mm. I said, yo, bro, did you just disrespect my family? Is that what you just did? Like how embarrassing? Like you, don't you ever, ever walk past my family? Like you don't know me. Like you don't care who they are. I just went in. Then he started saying, oh, that's when he poked the beast. This is when the beast was poked. <laughs> he goes, well, when Onika doesn't get what Onika wants, this is a red flag. I can see that Onika, when she doesn't get what she wants, she gets testy. And I'm like, yo. Testy. I said, you want to see testy? testy? I said, let me tell you something. I've compromised. And so talk about compromise. I've compromised more in this relationship than you have. Financially, spiritually, emotionally, like, physically. Well, I see when you don't get like, what you want, you behave like a little boy. Like, 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 like can we not just display that in Walmart? I'm telling you, I'm like, you, I said, don't you ever be that. He goes, we, we agreed that six months, you know, before we met family. I said, yeah, I know we agreed that, but. I told you my family lives in Ajax. There's a lot of us. He didn't think we we're gonna buck up with them at Walmart. They live in you Walmart. Just, like I am by. you could know, I would have introduced you as friend. We wouldn't have put our business to this. Like you just were disrespectful. I was like, and another thing, don't ever have me saying no to you about money again. <laughs> I said you make at this point more money than I do. My money's not an addendum to your spending fund. Like. Don't put me in those positions. I said, at the end of the day, if it, and I tell this to all men that are in my life. So if you ever want to be in my life, let me tell you something. I'm a generous, <laughs> generous human being. I give of my heart and I don't expect anything back other than respect. So when I tell you, when it comes to me eating first and you eating first, respect, my friend, I'm going to eat first. <laughs> Always. Respectfully, I'm, respectfully, I'm going to eat first. Stop spending my money. But then the trigeminal neuralgia hit, so I had to rely on him financially. Mm. He didn't. He didn't provide the finances. I he transferred money into his account <laughs> to send him to Walmart to get an eighteen roll of toilet paper because there's two people living in my house at this point, and we use a lot of toilet paper. He goes to Dollarama, <laughs> <laughs> picks up a four pack cascade <laughs> with kittens on it. He picks me up. He picks me up some salty ass. Still got it in my cupboard. Got it donated to the, to some. So the elevator, because someone will pick it up at the elevator. Some salty beef and chicken cup of soup from Dollarama. Probably all of it cost forty bucks. I gave you one fifty. Where's like one twenty five of that? Like, <laughs> he like it got to the point where he was stealing from me. He was stealing. I said enough is enough. As soon as I got even the slightest bit better. I wasn't a hundred percent, but I knew he had to go. Y'all not even ready for how she made he had this to man go. go. So here's what went down. Mm. <laughs> Spilling that tea. I hope he's listening. I got a phone call. For this I thing, hope so. he's listening. I called Jay, and Jay's like, "I'm like Jay, like when is this shit gonna end?" I said, "What? When do I stop? Like when do I stop being a butcher, a baker, and a fucking candlestick maker? Like I can't do this no more. When does this stop?" He goes, "That's what she presents to him." That's what he's going to expect. You don't even like this guy. Just break up with him. And I needed that Julian wisdom for that moment to snap me out, like back into reality. Just a <laughs> spit slap across the face, just like Julian will provide you sometimes. Gotta love him. So, little bitch slap. So I'm like, you know what? Two days later, I packed up his stuff, <laughs> took his mom's blanket out of my ottoman. He used to sleep on the ottoman, guys. The sex wasn't great. Oh, you <laughs> I put so- it out there. I don't care if mom's listening. It was terrible. And, you know, so that wasn't a frequent thing in our, our lives. I slept with my bear, Bernard. If you haven't met Bernard, you'll meet him on one of the shows at some point. I know it's weird that I sleep with a teddy bear, but I do. I, I've had him for 30 years, and I love him. So if you judge me, then you know what? Don't listen. So I slept with Bernard in my single bed, because I'm apparently single. And he slept on the Ottomans. So he had his, like, whole situation set up on our Ottomans. Don't worry, I sanitized them, uh, L. I, L, I sanitized I said, that, no, he was a tiny guy, though. He was a tiny man. He was a tiny, 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 Yo, tiny man. I am rolling like, right now. Like. So he slept on the ottoman. So his stuff would be up against the bookshelf. 
and around the, the area there. And then his his blanket was in the one ottoman, the brown ottoman. And oh. then so I packed up his little things. I set them in a corner and I'm like sitting on my bed with my hands steepled. You know that presidential steeple where you're about to give some bad news to someone. You're hoping they're going to take it well. <laughs> And this is the reason why I was really hoping I hear you would take you well. Mm. I kept getting images of him. And these were just, I'm just, viewer's discretion is advised. If you're listening to this right now, I'm not saying this person did this. He was never physically abusive. But I am almost kind of psychic when it comes to certain things, when it comes to telling the future of a relationship. So when I am outside doing this 60 day challenge, he gave me about not smoking cigarettes and I lost my job and I got all this other stuff going on. I started smoking cigarettes again and I'm sneaking about it behind his back. I visualized him coming onto my balcony and punching me in the face. (laughs) So um, with that said, I felt that was kind of like possibly a premonition because like sometimes when he'd ask me about like, why don't you answer your text messages? I feel like a shiver up my spine. Because it would be a very, like, a certain tone that he would use. So I was very cautious. This is goes back to why break up, why, why is it hard to do, and why is it not hard to do. So I sat there waiting for him after work. I'm he went shocked, on a mo- That's why yeah. I'm so quiet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He went My on a motorcycle open. ride. I close it before I catch flies. But it's I had just- to say what I had to say. So mm. he, he went on a motorcycle ride. So he shows up to Toronto. Never mind. To where I live. <laughs> he shows up to Toronto, where I live. And then he shows up at two in the morning and I live in a ghetto, ghetto building. Um, I, I'm, it's bad. Um, I saw a cockroach when she came in earlier. <laughs> why are you, why are you trying to expose it? I had to, I had to expose it. To expose? I had to, I'm exposing myself. You don't live here. You're just visiting. I actually live in this mess. I don't like cockroaches, so guys. I live I in had, this mess. I had, I had, I had flashbacks so he shows, of childhood. He shows up at 2 a.m. And I, I tell him, I call him because a four o'clock ran around and I had still been sitting in the same position just with some mic earphones in my ear talking to my girlfriends about how I was about to break up with them. Every girlfriend I called, like, I'm just waiting she for this guy to come. Mm-hmm. Call B, call my girls, call my best friend, call everyone. I'm breaking up with him in like 2.5 hours. Like, <laughs> he's coming home at 2.30. 2.30 rolls around, 3 o'clock rolls around, 4.30. I'm like, yo, you know, hey, uh, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm just taking the motorcycle ride, baby. How you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm awesome. Just uh, wake me up and get home, okay? I got to talk to you about something. I, like, didn't want to alert him, you know, because I still need to get my key back, right? So, <laughs> wakes me up. He goes, why? Is something wrong? I said, no, 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 no. Just wake me up. Just wake me up. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, 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 I just can't do this. I'm feeling a little bit better from the, you know, adrenal neuralgia, which he helped me out with. Not at all. Um, he made me two cups of cup of soup during the three period that I was sick. The rest of the time he door dashed. Um, so money over love, obviously. Um, so yeah, I said, I, I just can't see myself being a butcher, a baker and a candlestick maker for the rest of my life. I don't think you and I are probably the right fit. So I think like it's probably best that like we just end this now before things get a little too like entangled. I'm sure I didn't say entangled in that moment, but had I known Jada's word entanglement, I would have <laughs> definitely used the word entangled. So I just want to like throw that out there because sometimes you want to correct what you said to make it sound better. But that was the basic gist of what I said. And then so this um, person that's now my ex boyfriend, he says, um, "Well, he he wasn't until he said okay. That was all he said. It was okay, just okay." So he spent salty. my money. I'm a little salty. Like I, I didn't expect him to beg or nothing, but like I'm a catch. Like I'm an effing right, catch. Right. So the least you could do is like, no, baby, no. Like let's try it again. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's try it again. One what? more time. You thought? Like, you so thought. I can reject you again. Like so, give me something to work with. You, you know? Thought. I thought. I had a thought. I wasted a whole thought. Mm-hmm. So then he says, he says to me, I'm gonna. Um, can I just sleep here tonight? I'm really tired. And because we don't sleep in the same bed and the punching in the face uh, image that I kept getting in my head, I said, sure. This is where the breaking up is hard, isn't hard to do, or is it? So this is now 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm up. I'm awake because I just wanted this guy out of my house at this point. Um, so 5 a.m. rolls around. I start coughing heavily. Uh, just like, <coughs> I just cough. and like, hey, hey, la la. You up? You up? 
He goes, yeah, I'm just going to sleep a little longer <laughs> until my shift to go door dashing. So I was like, okay, I'll just sneak off like a lizard into my bathroom to go talk about you, which is what I usually do because you took over the living room. So I would be in the bathroom like an idiot. So I might as well do that for a couple hours. Oh my so <laughs> you're like, this, this has happened. Elliot, this happened. This happened. You, you were there. You were there. So then um, I basically said to him, I basically said, you know, it's like around whatever time he goes, I'm just going to run to my car and grab something. I was like, cool. I'm thinking it's like a bag. Oh, and keeping in mind when he showed up at 2 a.m., he showed up with four bags. He was going to move in. If I could bet my last dollar on the fact that this guy was not only going to move in, he was going to rent out his 850 basement apartment and live here with me. This is my suspicion. Because there was a lot of bags for like someone like he looked like he was planning to stick around for a while. Like, like so there was already three bags here. He came in with four bags. I remember seeing them in his head. It looked like a water, bag. one of those like water holder things, like balance. <laughs> Drag it off the bags like that. Mm-mm. So yeah, so he went downstairs to get his beard trimmer and his hair dye. And he's like, can you dye my beard and trim my hair? I'm like, no, what is he, but you 007? Can do it. What is he I changing his identity for? Yes, you can do it yourself. So he does it. He takes a call. I'm like, yo, I got to be somewhere at night. He goes, well, you got a date? I'm like, no, I just got to be somewhere at night. So can you go and take your not 45 minute long shower that you normally take and take a 15er and wash that out and like leave? Like, <laughs> Cause he like the showers. That's a whole nother talk. I can't even go there. I can't even. I can't even. Girl, I can't even. We still so, got cards. We still got cards. Let me get. Let me finish the story. So yeah. So two twos later, he used my toothbrush to dye his hair. My oh. brand new toothbrush. He stole my floss. He left like a bandit in the night. I got my keys back, and I've not talked to him since. And I've slept easy ever since then. This girl said he used my toothbrush. He used my brand new toothbrush. And you know when you have a new toothbrush that's only about a week old, you don't recognize it as your new toothbrush? So when I'm like looking at him do his beard, I thought I might recognize it, but I I wasn't sure until he left. And I went to my bathroom and my floss and my toothbrush were gone. Like... (laughs) He was a hygiene bandit. He was a hygiene bandit. <laughs> he was he was OCD about his hygiene. It was weird. Oh it was my weird. God. So after that happened, I decided to take myself on a what? A family staycation. The week of big ideas. Oh my gosh, the family staycation. So it, it was with the it was with um my cousins and my baby cousins and my aunt. It was great. Um, unfortunately, a lot of but not unfortunately. Fortunately for me, I think. Um. A lot of big ideas came out of this period. And some of them I want to share with you. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because these are actually, this is a part of hypomania that I love the most. No, you don't tell them. Do no, I'm not going to tell them the big ideas. But I'm just telling them. This is the part of hypomania that people who are bipolar love the most. This creative aspect of our brains that just all of a sudden clicks into place and everything that you can envision for the next 10 years of your life that you couldn't even couldn't that you envision. couldn't even envision a month before it's just laid out right in front of you like a plan like a lovely piece of cake like you know with all the trimmings like it's just right there in front of you and that creativity that leads to like really big ideas that can turn into something amazing and that was like so many things like my book the podcast like so many different things and i wish i could share them with you because i have a very big mouth but I've been advised not to because what another thing I did during this big ideas time, I didn't write anything down. I I did not write anything down because I knew if it was a good idea and it was something that I could make work, it You'd would still it? be there. I'd remember it after the hypomania. Fair enough, yeah. So I haven't written any of these ideas down quite yet. Only a few. But like the other ones I'm just keeping till I can flush them out. Yeah. Big ideas week. That's fair enough. So work work out or die. Your Thirty day <laughs> challenge. Oh my god, guys, this was so annoying. Like, oh my gosh. So I did. Shout out to Chloe Ting for helping me lose a couple pounds and giving me a routine and a regimen. Um, I did the Chloe yeah, Ting like thirty it. day workout challenge. And I got up at seven forty five. Well, I was up at five anyways because I'm up at five five thirty. Um, but my cousin Dana. Um, was my accountability partner and she basically would just stay in bed while I did my workout. She wouldn't really do anything really, but she was, she, doesn't need she was anything, very supportive. So. She's like, she's super 24. So like, you know, <laughs> 
You know what that looks like and feels like. I remember being 24 when I could eat donuts all day and nothing would happen to me. You know, like, woo, like 24. Um, so, and I'm not hating on her. I love her. I adore her. But she was there really supportive for the whole 30 days. And I currently am down 10 pounds. Um, so. Hey. Get yeah, it. I'm getting it. I'm get, I'm out there. I'm on. The, I'm in these streets. I'm in these streets. Hey, I see you. So, shirts fitting a little looser these days. Pants. My my Victoria's Secret um, high waisted pants actually stay high waisted for longer than ten minutes now. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> oh, okay. so it's a sight to see. Hey. It's definitely a sight to see. Oh my gosh! And mm. then came the staycation with me with B. So this was for our uh, my niece's birthday um yes. i just the thing is what makes this relevant is not is the fact that i went on another vacation like if you notice there's been a there's there was a vacation at the beginning of july or beginning of august no beginning of july and then there was mm-hmm. a vacation in mid-july. all in mid-july there's another vacation we're going to be discussing um like where am I finding the money? Like, that's the question on, I think, everyone's mind, especially mine. I'm looking at this timeline. I'm like, where did I find all this money to go on all of these staycations like you that just, were highly lavish? Like, you just, I don't know. You always, <coughs> it's always something with you. I don't know how you do it, but. I don't, like, by the skin of my teeth. Definitely. By the skin of my teeth. And then, and then this rash decision. So another rash decision to, to move, move or not to move or not to move. That is the question. Um, I had it in my head that I would move my entire life that I love in Toronto to to Whitby, Ontario, where my parents live and my whole family is, which I ran away from four years ago. So I don't know what like. I was like, I'm going to get a job out here and I'm going to get this house. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to invest in property. I'm going to, I was just like out of my, like, like there was no jobs in Toronto for me. Like in Toronto, I just dried up, you know, like, you know, Without all the opportunities in Toronto, COVID. <laughs> all the opportunities in Toronto dried up. So I was just going to shift myself to the suburbs and hope to God I find a job, which I did end up finding a job in the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> And now I live in Toronto. The amazement. The amazement. <laughs> that's that for the end of that's for the end of conversation. But yeah, it was just like I actually okay. I can only tell you a part of this story. No, wait if it's in there. Mm? Is it in the timeline? It might be, yeah. It's in the timeline. See, you see, you see. <laughs> Stick to the timeline. Stick to the girl. timeline. Okay. Okay. So girls trip twenty twenty. August 21st. So three trips in less than a month and a half. Um, copious amount of alcohol at one trip, the girls trip. Um, and it just was a bit of a shit show. Um, it was family and friends. And um, uh, I met some really interesting characters. I can't go into detail as to who they are. Um, but what I do know is that... Um, this one individual I met proceeded to extort me for a hundred dollars <laughs> um, for her iPhone oh six. Uh, You're so nuff, six. Like. Um, it was if I if I owed a business, it would have been an embezzlement. But because I don't own a business quite yet, it's an extortion. Um, so <sighs> I was also going to give her. I was also going to give her my couch, but she was late. And you know what? I don't respect lateness. So You're just so petty. I have no value for lateness. So and it's a good thing I didn't give Continue. her my couch because I love my couch. And at the end of the day, I need my couch now. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And you but were also I, in your <laughs> hypomania. So. I was also in my hypomania. Yeah, I was given. I was just party. Yeah. Planning. Yeah. Sex. Yeah. Let's do this. All of this. Let's have a great time. I didn't have any sex other than with the boyfriend for two months. Barely. But like if if he hadn't been around the 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 your tinder would have been active Is the that tinder might have been so active Ew. basically <laughs> i might have been a tinderella still but yeah and then i started like i i started heading to the beaches more and like really getting back into toronto after my parents started getting on my nerves um is, with that the, where, is that where you found the little free library yes the little free library that i have taken now from around the city of toronto probably about 50 books for a, a bookshelf that I was going to buy for an apartment that I'm not getting anymore. I also have um, decals from, if you will, 
if you will. Decals? Decals from... Oh, I wish I may. I wish I may. <laughs> you, I oh, yeah, your, your wish shopping spree. My wish... I bought 45 things on Wish last month. I, I don't know what I bought. I have two of everything. I've double clicked on everything twice. Um, let's see. I have jewelry that like, it's kind of actually dope jewelry, but like at the end of the day, like I, do I need it? No. Um, uh, I've got like three shower, new shower curtains. I got this like little spinny thing that puts my ear. It's amazing. It has my earrings on it. It looks great, but how am I going to get them off now? Like, what do you mean? Do, the earring you, holder. So how can't you take them off? You put them on. Yeah, but now you got to reach your hand and try. It's a very, it's, it's a tricky system. <laughs> so I don't remember ordering that because I think I, I think I would have known that this is complex and I don't want to get involved with this. You're but so I was just ordering. I've got things still coming from China right now. Oh I have to gosh. hide these packages from my parents. They're going to my parents' house. Thank God my parents <laughs> don't check mail. They wait till Bianca goes over to check the mail. They'll wait weeks to check mail. They won't go down there. Thank God. Like. <laughs> Because the packages just keep coming daily. I'm complaining to the wish like, yo, I-, I know I was crazy when I did this, but I'm pretty sure I ordered this like infinity ring. Where is it at? Like, why hasn't it got here yet? Like, why hasn't it got here yet? Like, I can't even deal with you right now. This girl's like, I know I was crazy, but like, where are my purchases? Like, you still have to honor them. Like, I paid you off. You you took the fifteen seventy one that was the the leftover credit that oh you gave me out of my God. bank account the other day. I know because it was in the negative, so I know you took it. Like ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Oh, the international life. What's this oh my about? gosh. What's this about? It's all about these fast car nights and these fateful days. What? Fast car, the champagne life. Champagne life. Champagne life. No, um the international life is all the international phone calls I made in um <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> and Your I was call calling screen? Germany. I was calling Azerbaijan, obviously all on Facebook. Thank God I knew about WhatsApp and like <laughs> Facebook, like messenger call. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's yeah. what I'm calling it. Um, yeah. So I was calling like North Dakota, LA, like I was all over because of one of my big ideas, which I hope knowing the people that have actually signed up to be on, because there are people who've signed up to be on board for like this whole concept that I'm working on. And I did it when I was not exactly in my right mind. I was hypomanic. So you get a lot of shit done. And that's when that's the the international life was when I realized I needed to like get more international out of Whitby back to Toronto because mom and dad were all like, why are you always on the phone and why are you always going out to smoke cigarettes? So that was like, you know what? I'm heading back to the down by the airport down to Toronto area. Mm-hmm. International life. International life. And then who? This is my favorite only because you know why? I'll be gone to November. I'll be gone to November. Tell that girl, I'll, I'll be gone, gone till November. November. I'll be gone till November. Where are you going I'll be till gone November? Till What's November. going on? What's going Tell on? my girl, I'll be gone till November. January, February, okay, March, like, April, I, May. It's, you didn't put the whole like, I know. white cloth. Uh, okay. I love it. So, listen, 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 listen. So, you missed one. Did I? No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Oh, you missed one. I told. I knew I didn't right, talk about. It. You're right, but that's okay. okay. It, it goes back to the November one. Okay, so is there a doctor in the house? Um. So finally, after so many months of not getting any type of mental health care service, well, not any kind. That's not fair to say. Like it was minimal. limited, minimal. minimal, limited because of social distancing, because uh, places and... were shut down. And mm-hmm. so I reached out, uh, or my doctor reached out to me, or I reached out to my social worker. Something happened. We all reached out. Um, and I told him I wasn't doing very well. And I thought this was the condition that I was, I was currently finding myself in. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think I'm manic quite yet, but I think I might be hypomanic. Um, so I just expressed to my social worker what that looked like and felt like for me. Um, and then I expressed to my doctor in an appointment what that looked like and felt like. And then, uh, he agreed with me. Um, I told him about the timeline that we just went through, uh, in episode part one and episode part two. Mm-hmm. Um, and he said, I'm actually shocked that you're still even standing and that you're not in a hospital right now. Um, so that made me kind of proud of myself because, um, along the course of the last seven months, I've made some like pretty, not great decisions um you know and 
but at the same time I made I put things into a place in my life that like it's almost like I went on autopilot when it came to how to handle certain things and what was going on with me and I always know that I'm going to come out of it by November um, it's usually mid-October to November um, but the mania might start or the hypomania might start as, as early as March April that's when I usually get a burst of energy um, to start wanting to like I wake up at 5 a.m. I start wanting to do more things. I want to socialize more. I want to be out more. And um, then summer comes and then I'm, I'm like super hyped. And um, then the dip starts around like October, November. Um, I find I'm no longer getting up at 5, uh, 530 in the morning, 5 a.m. Like this morning I woke up, I woke up at seven and I fell asleep on my coffee and my cigarette. Like I almost burnt the what? place down. Yeah. I, I put my coffee on to, to like, to, to boil mm-hmm. um and i was sitting down and i just like i, I had a cig i just lit a cigarette and then i um started like just rested my hand on my chin and i just started sleeping oh, girl. so i could have burned my face off like yeah, pretty much I was so i was like you know what i think you, just- you need to go back to bed because all these months of getting up at 5 a.m and doing the cycle and and i was still during this time i was high i was thinking i was high and during this time i was still taking my medication basically every day like I got ended up with a med change. This is what I was talking about with the doctor's mm-hmm. appointment. Um, I saw him in July, and um, he upped my dosage from for my lithium 150 mils, um, my Nozanan, which is my sleep meds, by uh, 50 mils, and then um, my Ativan. He gave me more because I was experiencing a lot of anxiety as well, like about like where am I going to work, where am I going to live, what am I going to do, how am I going to get out of this financial rut that I'm in. You know, different things. Like as I was making the bad decisions, there was this other half of me every couple of days that would like emerge out of like the darkness. And it would be like tears of like just pain and agony and like, oh my gosh, I've made so many bad decisions. And and the next day would be right back to bad decision making. Right. So I knew something was off. Mm -hmm. Um, And when he did check my levels, um, he gave me the results uh, last week. Um, I'm uh, still, I'm at a, I'm supposed to be at between a point when you have lithium in your system, you're supposed to be between a 0.6 and a 0.9. Usually I'm at a 0.7 right now. I'm at a 0.45. Mm-hmm. So he thinks we should just continue on the regimen that I'm on and see if it just will balance itself out once the hypomania settles down. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that'll probably be by like o- end of October, November. Okay. So, um, and at that point, I go into a mode where there's a potential for depression, of course, because that's November 1st, if you guys aren't aware, is the day the time changes, it goes fall backwards. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's always like a shift in my mood there, but I have other mm-hmm. things to look forward to that job I mentioned earlier. Yes, yes. Um, it's a, I'm a, going to be a peer support worker for a mental health organization, um, and a national mental health organization. Um, so I'm very excited, looking forward to that journey and it'll keep me stable because I think my social worker was the one that said it best. She's like, when you have structure in your life um, and you have like things like a job and your podcast and your writing, et cetera, et cetera, that it's like when you have too much time, like as mom would say, idle hands are the devil's workshop, mm-hmm. right? So when I'm idle, that's when I can get into trouble, mm-hmm. right? So, but I'm, I'm doing well now. <laughs> I'm doing well. I wish y'all could have seen that instance that she tried to put on. I'm okay. I'm doing well now. You know. Okay. You know. You know. I'm okay. Okay. I'm good. good. Yeah. So if anyone can relate to any of this, uh, any of these conversations, it's a a crazy. You know, it's 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 a crazy journey, and you're not alone. No, it it happens. Like, how do you feel about the last couple of months? Uh, What were your favorite moments? Crazy. You bet she's crazy. You bet she's crazy. Yeah. But it's I, crazy. And, and it's been a while um, for me to, to deal with it because, like, you know, we, we went through the whole time of me not, of us not talking and, and all that. So I haven't really had to deal with it for a while. So it was like, it was like, a, I think you have a blast it really from well. the past. Yeah, because I don't, I don't take your shit no more. Yeah, she's I'm sick a, a lot of shit. I'm not a child no more. So. She's sick a lot of shit. Yeah. So. No, but I think you handled it really well. Yeah. Elliot, how was it for you? Speaking of, like seeing as like you know what I mean like what you've shared with us and you know yeah. what we know about you I mean, was it scary for you to look at me see me in that <laughs> go in that direction? I knew I could see it coming and I I knew uh, I knew there you go sorry I knew uh, I could see this the the stages mm-hmm. developing through, developing yeah so I I saw it coming and I could tell you couldn't completely pinpoint pinpoint it yet. So that was a little worrying. That's always the rocky part with the it with spending, her. Yeah. When she crazy. can't pinpoint it yet. 
Mm-hmm. And even when you try to express it, she's like, no, I got this under control. And you don't yeah. know what is your place to step mm-hmm. in and be like, no, you should chill a little more. You should, you know, take in your actions. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think you did handle it well. I think you handled it extremely well. You didn't get hospitalized, you know. You yeah. Mm-hmm. You still are here. You're still, you didn't lose anything, per se, other than maybe, obviously, money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could have been worse. It could. Have been worse. <laughs> it could. Yeah. 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 So. yeah happy yeah. You really worked through it this time. I did the you damn did, thing. You did the damn thing. I like did the Caruso. damn thing. Like Sunny Caruso. Did the damn. Just lock me in a room in a castle. Let me just throw around some pillows. <laughs> drink some wine. <laughs> Play the violin, you know. <laughs> Do the things and sing the songs. <laughs> Do the things. Sing. I got that kind of time. Got to be in the studio. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Always got to make a reference. Always got to make a reference. You're so ridiculous. Uh, so if you guys want to tell me how proud you are of me. Um. It's not about you, okay? <laughs> if, if our audience have anything that they want to share with us, okay? They've been on the same type of crazy roller coaster train ride that you've been on. I want to hear from you because yeah. that's the only way we're ever going to get through Sometimes this stuff is if we support each other. Mania, you know. Yeah, it's you like, gotta laugh. It's not, it's not funny when it's happening, but if you this 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 story today, like I could, had you seen stitches? I was dying. Like I wasn't dying when it was happening, but oh Lord. The, but going back at it, looking back at it, it's it's, it's like, pretty funny we, stuff. How do we made it? <laughs> Uh, I have some just another another point, another piece of news. Um, CBC Gem uh, released oh, on yes, October second. Yes. You can't ask that season two. I am episode six on bipolar. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I it's interesting. It's interesting. Just just tune in and let me know what you think. I think I did pretty good. We'll all post, considering, we'll post a link on it on Instagram. Yeah, we will as well when it when it when it comes out. Yeah, all, all yes, considering, okay. I think I did well, you know, with the challenges I faced. So, oh, get over it! Oh my gosh, yeah. the well. salt, the salt. Yeah, well, Toronto anyway, so salty. So, if you guys would like to reach us, you can reach us at dish at daintydish dot com. So that's dish d y s h at d a i n t y d y s h dot com. And if you are listening to us on Apple. Apple Podcast. Give us five, you five. And if you're listening awesome. to us on any other streaming services, thank you so much. Like, listen, share, subscribe, everything. Um, and if you want to get a hold of us on social media, my social media handle is that of a bad XO. So that's T H A T M U V A B A D X O. And if you want to get a hold of Onika, it's Best of Onika. That's B E S T O F O N I K A. And if you want to get a hold of Ellie, it's dot L O I T S period E L L O. Yes. And if you want to get a hold of all of us, you can uh, message us on our joint Instagram, which is Dainty Dish Podcast. So that's D A I N T Y. D-Y-S-H-P-O-D-C-A-S-T. Still the spelling bee champion. Uh, queen bee, queen bee. Yes. And I just want to give a little quick promo to daintydish.com as well. Yes. Sorry. Yes. I forgot we my got own. merch, guys. Yeah, we got merch. We We're got getting merch. It's coming out. So Look out. Be on the lookout. That's D-A-I-N-T-Y-D-Y-S-H.com. Yeah, they are comfy. They're really comfortable. They're yeah. Not, they're not your regular tees. That's for sure. Mm. I've washed mine at least twenty times now. <laughs> it's true. I, I wash yeah. mine a lot. And, it's, too. and it and it hasn't cracked or anything. It's still in good condition. So God, I spilled some curry on the white part too. And it come okay. out. Okay. So oh, that for, you know, for all our West Indian people, you know that curry stains. That thing came out. It came so. out. Yeah. Anyways, that has been the dish of the day. Thank you, B. Thank you. We never say thank you enough, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Yes. That hit different, you know. You just, I, was like, I, was like, I, was like, I was like, I was like, for what? I don't know. I just want to say it. thank you. I'll take it. I'll say thank you. Sometimes you got to say You're thank welcome. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, as I said, that has been the dish of the day. I hope y'all have yourselves a very, very, very happy hump day. <laughs>